Today I'm going to be doing my July favorites and really it's my June and July favorites. I haven't filmed my favorites in a few months. I'm so sorry about that. For some reason I just avoid filming the, <laughs> this video because I usually have a lot of favorites and it's kind of intimidating to film sometimes. But I am going to share a lot of makeup favorites with you guys today and then a few lifestyle favorites at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I want to start off with the foundation I am wearing on my face. I absolutely love this foundation. I got it at Generation Beauty a few months ago. It's the Too Faced Born This Way absolute perfection foundation. It's oil free. I did do a full review on this plus a demo. I'll link that down below. I'm in the shade Vanilla. I absolutely love the packaging. Love that it's a pump. The shade is really perfect on me. I feel like especially for the summer because it is a little bit more yellow toned. It's a neutral. The shade is supposed to be neutral but it does lean a little yellow on me. It lasts so beautifully on my skin but it gives me a very natural look. The pigmentation is super high on this so it gives great coverage without being heavy and it's waterproof for me. Um, the next foundation I'm going to show you, it's not technically, um, it's long wearing but it's not waterproof, like it's not sweat proof for me but it is my everyday foundation because it's a little bit lighter um, and not as full of coverage. Whereas this one is my go-to on the weekends or when I'm going to be filming because it just looks so flawless on camera and it's great coverage and it lasts really well and it is lightweight. This one I was speaking of is the YSL Latins, Latins, um Fusion Ink Foundation. I am in the shade BD20, perfect shade for me. I wear this every day to work. I work a 10 hour, 10 to 11 hour shift every day, well Monday through Thursday, and I absolutely love how this looks on me and wears throughout the day. I do need to touch up with powder sometimes, however if I'm going to be out in the sun you know, all day or running around a lot, I wouldn't wear this just because it's not super, you know, like water resistant, um, but it is long wearing if you're, you know, just at work, you know, in air conditioning, it lasts really well. I am normal to oily skin, so the applicator is the only thing about this I'm not in love with. It's kind of messy, but it's another one that has a high pigment while being very lightweight. I'm obsessed with that kind of foundation right now, especially for the summer. You want some good coverage sometimes, but you don't want it to feel super heavy. So loving these two foundations, the Too Faced and the YSL. Next I want to talk about some highlights. The first one is one that I was kind of late on the bandwagon with. It's Mary Luminizer from The Balm. It's absolutely stunning and I don't know what took me so long to try it. It has more of a beige champagne, um, no sparkle in it, but it is what I call a BAM highlight. Look at that stunningness. Oh my goodness. It's absolutely gorgeous as an inner corner highlight as well. Really inexpensive if you purchase it off of Outlook or Hotlook, whatever you want to call it, which is a flash sale site. Um, they sometimes have the bomb and they will have this on discount, which is where I purchased it. And the next highlight that everyone and their mom is probably going to be talking on their July favorites, it's the Becca um, highlights, the Jaclyn Hill and Becca collaboration highlight in Champagne Pop. I cannot stop using this. I have this on my cheekbones today. It is magic in a little compact. Oh my goodness. Um, I will say, because I didn't mention this last time and after using it a bit, I do notice that if I put it too far into my cheek area, it will highlight pores. <laughs> you don't really want that. But that's kind of true of many highlights. If I put it too close into my cheek area, it will accent um, things I don't want it to accent. But otherwise, if I just put it on the tops of my cheekbones, it's absolutely stunning and glowy. Look at this, just in camera, you can see how glowy it is. Um, this has like a peachy golden coloring to it. I'm going to put it right next to Mary Luminizer. And that's the Jaclyn Hill on the bottom here. Oh goodness, both of those are stunning. So I know this one is limited edition, so I hope you can get your hands on it still. I'm feeling like they may end up re re-promoting it like during the holiday time and I'm really hoping they make a liquid version of this because it would be to die for. So felt like I just had to mention it again because I've been wearing it 
every single day since I've gotten. Next I have three bronzers to show you. I know that's a little bit excessive, but summertime you just want to look glowy, bronzed up, and gorgeous. So I figured I'd just mention all three of these because I've used them very consistently for the last few months. The first one is by Cover FX, and this is the Sunkissed Bronzer. It's the lightest of their kind of contouring, non-sparkly bronzers. I like it to be this light though because as you can tell I'm pretty pale and this is the perfect contour shade for me. It's it's nice and cool toned. It looks lighter in the pan than it comes off. I do have that in my contour today with another one of these on top of it though. And it just really is a great natural contour. It gives you definition, it gives you warmth without looking overdone. So I like this for every day a lot. The other one that I've been using consistently is this MAC. This was also limited edition though. It was from their summer collection. Um, this is called Delicates and it's the Studio Sculpt Defining Bronzing Powder. Can we just take a moment and look at this packaging? Oh my goodness, so cute. And it's from the Wash and Dry collection. And I'm not sure you'll be able to tell, but I've been giving this baby a lot of love ever since I got it. Another one that is just a perfect natural but defining contour and it is a little bit more cool tone. I definitely think it would be better for fair skin types or just lighter toned skin because it's not going to probably show up on someone that has like caramel to dark skin tone, but I absolutely adore it. There was another shade in the collection that was much more orange. This one I definitely prefer and love. And it has a little bit of a sheen to it, nothing really like illuminating but it's not all the way matte. And last bronzer is from Hourglass. Now initially when I first purchased this, um, it's the Luminous Bronze in Light from the Ambient collection of their bronzers. When I first purchased this I was like, mm, I didn't know if I loved it because it was much warmer than I usually like my bronzers to be. It is infused with the Ambient lighting powders. I have fallen in love with this this month because it looks absolutely stunning on top of my contour to kind of blend everything and it just gives like a glow to your skin, warmth to your skin and because it has that ambient lighting powder into it, it just makes everything look like airbrushed and beautiful. I love this one. I haven't tried the darker version. Again, I'm fair, so obviously I'm going to go for the lighter of the two, and it just has that marbled effect. It's absolutely stunning. I love it. It is warmer though, so I would never use it for contour, but beautiful for all over the face or just on top of your cheeks. Next I have two blushes. The first one is another thing from Becca. This is the color Songbird, I believe, yeah, Songbird. And it is so beautiful. I believe I have mentioned this in my favorites before a while back. And I just started pulling this out again. I have it on my cheeks today. It's a perfect summer blush. It's just that really gorgeous peachy tone. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it. If you look directly at it, it looks like it has glitter in it, but it really doesn't come off on your skin. And this is so pigmented. Like, I barely touch my brush in this. And... Look at this. It's just so pigmented. So you do have to be careful. You don't want to pile this baby on because it will be way too much. But it's absolutely stunning. It's just my perfect summer blush. So I love that. And I've also been loving this Sonia Kashuk powder. It's actually considered a highlight, but for me it's a blush. It's the Arabian Dreams Sahara Sunset Highlighter. Cute packaging. It's from their summer collection with these gold stripes. And then it does have a beautiful pattern in the inside. Look at that. And I just swirl my brush all the way around. I'm going to show you what it looks like. This definitely is a very glowy look when you have this as a blush. Um, look at that. Isn't that stunning? I love it so much. I don't use it as a highlight. Like I said, I use it as a blush. But sometimes I'll use this as like a highlight blush combo instead. Like when I'm just wanting to run out the door and give my skin some glow. This is what I'll use. It's a little bit pricey for drugstore. But sometimes you can get coupons from Target. And that's where you can find Sonia Kashuk at Target. Another love of mine this month has been the Perversion Mascara from Urban Decay. I'm wearing that today. It gives your lashes this like fluffy, volumed, fluttery look. I absolutely love the formula. It doesn't flake on me. It's nice and black. It has a fluffy, natural bristle kind of brush that has little separations. I can't even explain. It looks like a little Christmas tree. Um, it's just awesome at giving some great fluff. <laughs> to the lash. Great volume and fluffiness. And I do use this as my second mascara. I'll use like a more 
a wand that's more of like a comb plastic bristle first and then I'll use this on top and it's just amazing. Love, love, love this. And in true Melissa fashion, I have a ton of lippies, <laughs> lip products to show you right now. Um, first I'm going to start off with this Sonia Kashuk one. I got this in a makeup swap, a traveling makeup swap. If you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. It's in the shade Blushing Number 85. It's one of their Satin Luxe lip colors and it has SPF 16 in it. This little bottom is actually a gloss. One of you told me that. Thank you so much for enlightening me. I never use it though because, I mean, you have to use like a lip brush or something. I would not want to put my finger in that. It just snaps back in place. But the lipstick itself is that perfect everyday mauve color. Let me swatch this for you. It lasts so, so well on my lips too. Um, and it's so creamy. It feels amazing. It's just one of those perfect everyday colors. Loving it and so glad this was in the traveling makeup box because I probably would have never even looked at the Sonia Kashuk lipsticks. So excited to have tried this and loving Another it. find this past month has been the Lorac. What are these called? The Lorac Highly Pigmented Cream Lipstick and Glosses. This is in the shade Duchess and I only have one of these lipstick and glosses, but I absolutely love the formula of these and the lasting power, how pigmented they are, how great they feel on my lips. I want all of them so badly. I found these at Kohl's. Um, Lorac is also sold, sold at Ulta though. Again, you guess it, it's like a mauve nude color. I'm just kind of obsessed with that, this kind of shade tone. Look at this, this is it right here. It has a little bit more cooler of a tone than the Sonia Kashuk. This is just like my perfect nude, like bombshell kind of lip. I wore it on my birthday. My birthday was July 31st and it lasted so well on my lips. This lipstick is more of like a matte, creamy matte formula. And, but I love pairing it with the lip gloss and I love that they're the exact same shade so they just go together perfectly. Again, this is in Duchess. These are called the Alter Ego Lip Glosses. Mmm. They have a gorgeous vanilla scent to them as well. And the gloss itself is so highly pigmented and they're not sticky, they're very creamy, they just feel cushiony on the lips. They're beautiful, and I love the metallic packaging on these. Can't say enough great stuff about these. Can't wait to get them. Last but not least are these amazing liquid lipsticks from Ofra. I've already spoken about these on my vlogs and I think another like haul video. I'm obsessed with these and they're the only liquid lipstick I've used since getting them. The reason I'm so obsessed with them is because they have amazing pigments, great lasting power, but they're not super drying. I hate liquid lipsticks that just feel like your lips are crackling and every little line is showing and they feel so dry. These are not that way. They're so cushiony and soft on the lips and they last really well. Now, mind you, they are not transfer resistant. Um, like if I kissed my hand, they would still slightly transfer and I think that's probably why they're not super drying because they're not just like sucking all the moisture out of your lips and laying flat and you know, motionless. Um, but that's not a big factor for me. As long as it's lasting well and feeling great on my lips, then that's what matters to me. But the three colors that I have used the most this month, I have one on my lips right now with the Alter Ego lipstick, um, sorry, lip gloss on top of it from Lorac, is Laguna Beach from Ofra. <laughs> Another kind of mauve pink color. What a shocker. <laughs> it's right there. These are all looking pretty similar. But that's just my go-to shade that's just like perfect for every day. Now this one is a little bit more brighter and fun for summer. It's Saint Tropez. It has more of a cooler purpley tone to it. I'm running out of swatch space. Right up top here. Really pretty for just a little bit more of a pop. And then the other nude that I've been loving from them is called Bel Air. And it's a little bit more brown toned, has a little bit of a peachy undertone. It's right there. Lots of neutrals going on, but I can't help myself. That's what I love. So if you haven't tried these, definitely try them out. I think I have a coupon code down below. I don't get any, it's not affiliated. It's just a coupon code for you guys. So I'll have it linked down below. So that's all for my makeup favorites. I did want to say, this last month of July, I have been obsessed with Magic Mike XXL. I have seen it three times now. 
and I have the soundtrack. Now, mind you, the soundtrack is a little sexy. I mean, it's, you know, Magic Mike, what do you expect? But I love it, and it's kind of embarrassing that I love it because the songs are a little bit more like, I don't know sexy but they're super good you have to if you like the movie you have to get the soundtrack because then you just like think of the movie you're like oh this is this part and this is this part I don't know that's why I love getting soundtracks because it reminds me of the movie if I really like the movie um, I also really like the new Adam Lambert CD I believe that came out last month but I've been listening to it all month as well and what else have I been listening to I love the I can't feel my face when I'm with you song from the weekend I think that's the band's name and there's a cheerleader song that I love, and I never remember the name of the artist. I think the um, I think the artist's name is Ami, O M I, but it goes like, Oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. She is always right there when I need her. Um, and my birthday, that was a big favorite. I had an amazing time with my family. It's actually the day after my birthday when I'm filming this. I'm going to be going out with friends tonight, but my birthday was very special. My mom is amazing. She brought me flowers and coffee in the morning, and I went to lunch with my brother and her, and we went. We did like a teeny bit of shopping, and then we went to a really nice dinner with my dad and my whole family, came over for cheesecake at night. My favorite thing in the world is cheesecake. <laughs> so that was my birthday. If you're wondering how old I turned, I turned 28. My grandpa was like, you're turning 27 today, right? I'm like, no, I'm turning 28. <laughs> um, but it's okay. It is what it is. Gotta get older, I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites. I love you so much, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.